Let's take a closer look at our aquifers. As rain falls on the land surface, a small amount of water seeps through the soil and into the porous rock. Water can also migrate more quickly down through the cracks and crevices and sinkholes. The downward movement continues till the water is trapped by layers of clay or non-permeable rock, which causes the water to saturate and collect and create aquifers. These storages of water range in size from microscopic to large caverns. Often people think aquifers are large connected underground lakes. This is not the case. In the Darwin rural area there are 13 different aquifers. These aquifers have different permeability, numerous layers and differences in composition and density. Permeability is the measure of the rock's ability to allow water to flow through it. So when it rains, the water that seeps into the ground is not shared equally by the different aquifers. It is common in the rural area to have neighbouring properties accessing water from different aquifers. One landholder may have plenty of water to draw from their bore, while their neighbour's bore may be in decline because they are drawing water from a different aquifer at different depths. Another complicating issue has to do with the aquifer's recharge rate. In the location on the right, the rock is more porous and the underlying aquifer recharges faster, compared to the rate at which water seeps down through the denser rock on the left hand side. Groundwater that is available can vary greatly depending on the aquifer that you are accessing and the type of rock, density, porosity and recharge. This means that residents and landholders throughout the rural area have different amounts of groundwater storage available. It is important to understand that only a fraction from the total rainfall received actually enters our aquifers. The majority of water is absorbed by soil and used by plants or is lost to evaporation or flows out into our creeks and rivers.